Happy Blessed Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to Daily Devotions, a word for you today. I am Sister Maria Dwyer here at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California. And we have part three of Harmony at Home today. And our scripture is Proverbs 14 and 29. It's smart to be patient, but it's stupid to lose your temper. <laughs> And it says, it's never okay to explode at those God has entrusted to your care. The Bible says, don't get so angry that you sin. Don't go to bed angry and don't give the devil a chance, Ephesians 4, 26 and 27. Satan would like nothing better than to gain entry to your home and turn it into a living hell. And every time you fly into a rage, you lose ground to him. That's why the scriptures say, it's smart to be patient, but it's stupid to lose your temper. The key to managing your anger lies in finding healthy ways to express it so that it doesn't end up hurting more than helping. It's important to share your feelings, but you must always do it in the right way. Amen. Ultimately, it's not about who's right and who's wrong or who can yell the loudest. It's about finding the solution that's best for everyone. Understand this, nobody can be everything you want them to be all the time. It's impossible to have a long-term loving relationship without learning to accept human weakness. So instead of dwelling on one another's shortcomings, focus on your collective strengths as a family. Clinical neuropsychologist Paul Pearsall says, most of us would give our own life for a family member, yet we lead our daily life too often as if we take our family for granted. That's true. Learn to control your temper. Your family is worth it. After all, who else loves you regardless of what you do? And where else can you go to find the comfort and strength that comes from that kind of support system. Very, very true. And that is, um, you know, sometimes, I mean, I think I don't really fly into rages. I know that I came from a home that that, that, that happened in. And it really doesn't produce anything good, but that is so true when it says, don't go to bed angry and give the devil a chance. So, um, you know, make sure that you try to, you know, just encourage that love, even when you're so angry at each other that, you know, it's, it's, it's hard in that moment to, you know, try to be calm or not judge or whatever. And, I think just over the years that, you know, I'm trying to remember a time when, when, you know, that kind of took over my family and it was a while ago because, you know, after a while, once you start practicing being calm and hearing each other out and having respect and seeing what that brings, it just becomes a way of life. So even for me right now and having adult children, but I still have one of them at home that when things go bad that we that we just talk about it and we keep that love right there so there's no yelling and screaming there's no judging there's no name calling and I you know that's kind of a rule in my house of that you know we don't judge we don't scream and yell um you know there's that should be our safe haven and our peace that even if something's going wrong you don't lose that peace in your home. That's so important. And, you know, it really creates an atmosphere of love and respect. And, and that's part of what having a, a godly home is like. And so I don't allow that in my home. Um, that is something I'm very adamant about. And that's not a boundary I will allow anyone to cross in my home. And so, you know, you need that place where you can go where your family can go that's always going to be a safe haven and a calm safe place for them no matter what is going on on the outside so um I, that's a really good really great lesson you know really great devotion once again so um you know try doing it that way because it's so true we're all weak at some point and we all have faults but you know you have to love each other through it and so 
that is the word for you today. Uh, have a wonderful, blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless you.